when I was doing my normal search the other day for a, a V56 boards on Banggood, I stumbled across a different listing that I've not seen before. And uh, this was for this universal um, display board. Looks quite interesting. Uh, this is a five button board. Quite often uh, when I've been looking at the V50 nine firmware boards um they've referred to five button this seems to come with a five button although this isn't the same board as i normally do uh looks like it's got a video in as well uh, i've got some interesting um parts on it it's got a uh look what looks like an inverter um output there it's got hdmi but it's really foot small form factor and i actually thought i might use this for um driving those sphero uh, display things that I, I I was playing about in a in an earlier video. Um, I might have a look at that and see whether I could convert that into a into a in, into a an H, a little HDMI monitor within the box. So uh, maybe I'm going to try that. It's arrived. Um, so let's just look at it slightly. Just arrived like this. There's bare board boards all separate. Um, there's the five button keyboard. Looks quite nice. Um, a uh, ribbon cable and this input. Uh, now, what I also noticed about this, which is good, it looks like it's got a, a, a ribbon TTL ribbon cable output. So that's the bit that really interests me. Um, it's got HDMI in and VGA in. So it's obviously less featured than the normal longer V59 boards. So looking at the chip there, it's quite interesting because it looks like it's been um, laser etched off, actually. Um, it says 6th HD, HD plus 1. So I don't know what the, the basis of that chip is, and whether it's got firmware on it. It looks like there's a, a BIOS chip that there, maybe, or that one. Let's see whether I can get it to work. I'll just power it up. So just using my normal um, power supply. Let's just power it and see whether anything happens. Probably won't. We've got no boards in. Let's just see how these will plug in. That bit's too big. That's that side then. And it looks like the other side is that plug there. Hopefully. Looks like there's a special headers for the uh, VGA as well. So let's just plug that in, see whether we get any um, response. Okay, yeah, so we get a, a little green light. Does it change? No. And, oh, there's a lighter green, red, green, and a lighter green. Interesting, but not surprising because there's no card in. So let's try something. Okay, so here's my spider math. Still haven't done that. Um, Sphero display screen. So let's whip this apart. Uh, you don't need to watch that. And uh, let's see whether I, the connectors are compatible uh, with the pin on this new driver and this. Okay, so here we are then. Uh, this ribbon cable, delicate ribbon cable. Let's pull that out. And let's see whether that will pop out of there. Now, the question is, will this board... Right, it looks exactly the same. So let's try this is slightly different. So let's pop that up. Push that in there. And it does fit. So this looks very promising. Clip that down. OK, so I don't need to worry about any of the power supply here um, I'll, because everything is going to be driven from that for the moment. So let's turn it over. Try and get it all on the screen. Move that out of the way. And let's see what happens when I plug this in. It may go bang, who knows? So I've got the screen. Uh, this is now all of the electronics inside this is not using, it's just using this. So let's see whether this might work. 
Oh. Alright, well that is not that is not no result, is it? It's maybe not what I was wanting, but it's doing something so interesting. So it might just be a case of getting the firmware quite excited by that. So maybe this uh, £11 board with this um, point of sale device, we could modify it to make this whole thing a single plug-in um, HDMI monitor. Uh, maybe I can work on this and see what we can do for finding firmware for this and uh, maybe come back uh, in another video and uh, get this all working as a conversion. <laughs>